Too Flashy family, you know it's your boy Stinger T. Too Flashy! And we have... And this your girl Patra. Hey and baby. Me. <laughs> hey guys, so this is another update on what's going on mm -hmm. with me. Um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss another video when we post one. Because mm -hmm. we're still going to be posting yes. no matter what happens. Yeah. We're still going to be posting. And make sure you share it with your friends. Share it with anybody who might be going through this. We're going to elaborate a little bit more eventually. I'm still learning about this sickness. I don't know, my hand, since the last video, my hand has a mind of its own. Like, it's really stiff. And I try to work it out sometimes. Um, anyways, the short story of what's going on right now. My hair is out because I'm going to do another MRI today. Yay. I like to see your hair out though, baby. Mm. Beautiful. Can you give me some? No, that hair up on my head. But I have a little bit, but it's gone. Sounds <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, this MRI was actually supposed to take place in a week from today, but persistence is key. I've called the doctors, well, the MRI office every single day, twice she a day. She hound them, guys. She hound them. Twice a day. Mm -hmm. Do you have any appointments? Do you have any cancellations? Do you have any cancellations? Do you have any cancellations? To the point where when I called yesterday, the um, young lady who answered the phone, she's like, Patrania, Patrania, hello, hello. <laughs> yes, I was like, yes. Yeah. So I was like, do you have any cancellations? She said, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. And I was like, okay. And she was like, let me see. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. And by the grace of God, yes. there's an appointment today. Because God knows that the way my hand feels, I need relief. And in order to get relief, the doctor needs to see what's going on before he starts his treatment, um, treatment, treatment. plan, which... I really respect that because you know some doctors they'll be ready to write you prescriptions that has nothing to do with without sickness. really knowing if that's gonna help you because you know it's not medicine is not a one size fits all practice True. so when doctors write prescriptions and they just they just oh you have a symptom here's a prescription mm -hmm. it's I don't I, I, I don't like that so even even though I had to wait I still respect his practice and I feel comfortable sticking here because I'm gonna get another MRI now and then he's gonna be able to start me on whatever he's gonna be doing and I'll be able to use hopefully be able to use my hand again. Like y'all don't even understand like, I'll be using my hand a lot, you know, trying to massage. No, that hurts. That's the reaction you she keep gives. on doing that. But I'm not being just trying to make sure you're alright. But that doesn't work. But the massage works. No, not anymore. Really? No, it, it's 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 over sensitive, guys. It's overly sensitive. I can't touch it too. too My hard. left hand is numb now too. Guys, please spam the comments. You know, give your send your prayers. You know, pray for my wife so that she can be healed faster, so we can drop more videos for you guys as fast as we can. You know. Yeah. We love y'all support and y'all patience with us as we go through this. And I already took time. a Valium. It's not, it didn't start working yet though, because I only took it like five minutes ago. So I already took a pill to help my anxiety in this next process. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna next. see how quick if the reaction goes. There's no reaction. She's gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be smiling and be happy. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> not true. But yeah, so you know, I'm about to go get jiggy with the program and lay down and I'm just gonna be praying while they're doing it if you've ever had an MRI you know the machine is small and you also know that it's loud mm -hmm. it's not like a small tick 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 a cat scan is a small tick 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 MRI sounds like they're using like a what they call it a jackhammer <laughs> yeah, it's really loud it's loud, it's loud. There's, they give you, they gave me headphones last time. I don't know if they're gonna give me headphones this time because this one's a brain scan. So, um, I, all I could do is wait and see. And um, I guess after I do my scan, I'll give you all a quick update of that. Yeah, of how that went. It's it's nerve wracking. Maybe that's what's happening to my nerves. Don't worry. I, I guys, I tell her that just not to worry too much. I know it's easy for me to say because I'm not the one experiencing it, but I'm here with her along the way. Y'all want to know something that happened to me last night? I, oh, it's my birthday. Happy birthday. 11 26. 
Happy birthday. Birth, the time? Happy birthday, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I promise at 11 30. Oh, that's how she's talking like that. So, so, but yeah, so last night I jumped out of my sleep because, you know, my right hand doesn't work properly. Like, it can't hardly close my fist. I can't hold a pen. Oh, see? I can't hold a pen. I can't, I can't pick up anything small. I can't do that. And so in the middle of my, in like in the morning, I woke up like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my left hand is going too. I like started freaking out because I was, I was so scared. I ran to the bathroom. I turned on the water. I picked up my toothbrush. I picked up a little, a little bottle, like anything small that I could p try to pick up. I picked it up because my fingers are numb on my left side. But although I'm right-handed, I'm getting by a little bit with the help of T and the kids. I'm getting by. She's doing good with her left hand. That's saw her doing everything with her left hand. I combed my hair with my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, like baby, you look shot to them. I like it. Oh, whatever. Like it. So, you know. What's your name, man? Like <laughs> <laughs> you silly. Did you take? Did you take a Valium too? No, I didn't. I think I'm getting a little contact from yours. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> so I'm just gonna um. You know, so yeah, last night I was so scared that I'm gonna lose feeling in my head, like lose the ability to lose my right, my left hand. There's, I've watched a few videos and there are people who said that they've lost the ability to walk. And that's scary to me. Like, I can't imagine getting out of the car and standing up and all of a sudden my foot is just disappear. Cause that happens with my hand. If I like lean on my hand too long, not even too long, I just try to use my hand to support me so I don't fall. I. I don't feel my hand giving away. I just feel my hand disappears. It's like it just disappears from under my hand, under yeah, me. The feeling is not really there. Yeah, so anyways, pray for me, guys. We need speedy recovery mm -hmm. and we need no more flare-ups if that's at all possible. I don't know if anybody has MS on here. Let me know what you've experienced and you know, need your feedback. We want to know what you've different done. symptoms you've had, uh, what treatment you guys, you guys are taking. So at least you could help out my wife so she can, you know? Be up and running again, right, baby? Yeah, I um, I've changed the way I eat so far, and I don't know if it's helping yet because it's probably too early to tell. You know, gotta get rid of all of the meat and stuff that was in there. Yeah, I'm eating a lot more fruits and vegetables, and um, I'll be fine eventually. Mm -hmm. I gotta go back to work today. You know, yeah. I was at work, I left early. Just you know, make sure I come to the store. My boss said, hey, go take your time. You know, that's the most important part, so appreciate that. Thank you, my boss, for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, and thanks to everybody that has been showing me nothing but love and support during this time. All I've been getting a friends. lot of text messages telling me to keep my head up. I've been getting a lot of prayers. Thank you all so much for all of that love and support. I really, really appreciate it. Even if it's just a, how are you doing today, it makes me feel good. So I am very appreciative of all my loved ones, all my friends from near and far, all of you guys who now know, who have reached out. Um, I want to thank you all for that. I really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to catch up with y'all in a little bit. We're about to go inside. So like I said, prayers up. Put God first. You know, we love y'all. See y'all in a little. She's a champion. I think you're flying already. <laughs> She's up there. I wanna fly, I wanna fly. You okay? I wanna fly, I wanna fly. <laughs> guys, catch y'all a little bit, guys. Just wanted to show y'all how the medicine is working on this girl. Oh my gosh, look at my eyes. Yes. Thank you. Oh, let me see. Like you <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Good. Okay. My name is Rhonda. Just, and we're going in the first door on the right. Since you pretty much did all this paperwork a couple weeks ago, whenever it was, it won't be much to it, just a lot of signatures. Okay. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> mm -hm
Lock and close away. Head first. All right, so we're about to go see the doctor. Yeah, we just right finished now. our MRI, but I've been on the doctor's phone also telling my knee to get moving. <laughs> so they told me call them as soon as I'm done with this. And the oh, other she is. She's ready this to girl me. is on them like like rice and gravy. Right, this is... oh. Come around. I'm so happy that the doctor is flexible. And willing to see me. When were you supposed to see him? Next week? Yeah, my parents were the 24th. Oh, they got you today? Because I called him yesterday and said, hey, I changed my mind. <laughs> what? I gotta make sure. I'm Listen, happy. When you need stuff done, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh -huh. You can't wait for Which people to get things done. My today. doing was calling. As soon as I got my appointment scheduled for today, I called and says, hey, I changed my appointment, so can I come earlier? And they said, call when I'm done with my appointment. I'm done with my appointment, called, <laughs> they said come now, I'm here with my disc, wait, <laughs> they, gave, they gave you a disc of what they did today, okay. here is my disc, so the, the doctor is going to look at it and see where we go from here, okay. hopefully right, it's so. enough to so he can come to a conclusion as to what to do. Mm -hmm. Let's hope for the best. We're going to pray for the best. Father, God, touch my wife. Pray that her MRI that she did today is a blessing, blessing to our body. You know, healer, Father, our Father, God, I ask you for coverage. Deliverance, remove all pain from her so she could feel much better. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Salute to that. Leave your two cents in the comments. You know, give us some prayers for my baby. Well, I need in the name of Jesus. Really? Amen. Mm -hmm. So, you guys will hear from us in a little while we get from the doctor. See what the doctor has to say. Alright. Hey guys, so I'm home. Sail is sleeping right next to me. Um, just got home from the doctor's office and as we thought, yeah, it is multiple sclerosis. Um, I'm not so down. I'm, I'm feeling down because my hand feels so, oh my gosh, like look at my fingers are stuck like this. Like it hurts, like that hurts so bad. Just bending it. But, you know, um, the doctor is going to get me on some a treatment plan, which involves steroids. I'm either going to have to go to a facility and get it done every day for an extended period of time. <clears throat> or they're going to have to come to me and do it um, in my house. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I wish I prefer if they come to me if I can. But, oh, see, I'm trying to scratch my nose. If they can come to me, I prefer that. Um, if I have to go to a facility to get it done, I guess that's what it is, what it is. I just want to get better. I feel so tired. Um, and he's going to put me on the medication that's supposed to prevent flare ups. I'm actually doing a little bit of research myself on this medication while he's trying to get it approved through my insurance, um, if that makes sense. Um, basically, I guess the insurance has to agree to pay for the medicine. So hopefully everything goes well on that standpoint. They dropped me off. Um, he brought us, he, we got something to eat, brought the kids some food, and he dropped me off, and he's at work, and I'm home, I'm about to, I guess, Netflix and chill, I'm gonna try to work out later, it's not much workout that I can do, maybe when the sun goes down, I might go for a walk, um, like a 20 minute walk or something, because you know, you have to stay active, it can't just let my body let the numbness take over like y'all don't understand 
my fingers do their own thing. Even when my hand, my fingers are straight, they feel like they're folded. And it's, it's very, it's just uncomfortable. It does hurt. And yeah, I can't use my right hand right now. I'm still trying to get used to it. My hair looks like a crazy woman. Godzilla's hair. Yeah. I can't. But anyways, um, hopefully this will pass sooner than expected. That way I can get back to being my normal self. Or whatever version of my normal self is going to be normal. You know, kind of like with coronavirus. What's the new norm going to be? That's the question. And, um... I try to do hand exercises. I have this little boat that I squeeze every now and then. It's kind of like, I guess they call it, it's kind of like, I guess they call it occupational therapy. So I try to squeeze it to, just to kind of get the nerves to work themselves up. I don't know what we're doing or what to do or whatever. Anyways, I'll keep y'all updated. I'm about to go rest, lay down until I fall asleep. I'm going to watch TV until I fall asleep um, before Zayla wakes up. That'd be nice if I get a nap in, right? Although Harmony and Bobby and Zoe are all taking care of her. Yeah, she needs three whole people to take care of her. Because she's a handful. And um, I'm, I have bad fatigue. Whatever the case is, guys, hopefully this medicine that they're about to that I'm about to take will along with my diet and exercise habits, hopefully that will help me recover sooner than later. So I can start being me again, you know. And thank y'all so much for watching this video. Again, thank y'all all again for your love and support. Really appreciate it. Thanks though, to the doctor for getting me in as soon as they did. I know my persistence made a difference too because otherwise I'd be waiting till next week. A week from today to do the test that I did today and to do an MRI and also the doctor said that based on the MRI results the spinal MRI and the brain scan that I did I don't have to do any more like tests to see what if it's MS because it's conclusive like you can see it I'm not a doctor and just from a little bit of studying or research that I did Looking at my brain scan, yep, it's, it is what it is. And I can also see why my hands, why my limbs feel the way they feel. Because it's on both sides of my brain. But I'm going to beat this, guys. We're going to beat this. God's got me. Y'all got me. So I know that everything's going to be all right. And, you know, again, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Really appreciate y'all love and support. Make sure y'all share this with your friends. If you know anybody has MS, tell them hop on and leave their two cents in the comments. Let me know how they're dealing with it. If you know somebody who has MS and they need a little bit of pick-me-up, don't let it defeat you. Show them this video. I'm hanging in there. You can do it too. And um, we're going to beat this together. It's not something that can be cured, but you can get rid of the symptoms, which is basically what makes you feel like crap. And especially when you can't do anything like you can't can't function your regular way you can't I can't right now thank God I can walk you know thank God I still have my left hand to do things with um, you know but anyways put God first and we all say too flashy too flashy to the world uh.